Good kitten internet. Yeah. Um, let's head back to Starfield, mostly because I want to play Starfield. Um, on a completely unrelated note, I am just about at five terabytes of video for my Let's Plays. Multiple terabytes of which are Starfield at this point. Mm, well, not multiple. I think it's just one. So, Brainiac is level eight. I believe we have a pending skill point. Oh, the quarter in the couch. That must have been from when I was moving, because I haven't had any American currency in a while now. Um, we finished scouting our planet, and we've set up our first outpost. Yeah. So, we have multiple quests that are going on, along with some minor quests. I think we might want to go investigate the well. Sounds good. We have stuff to sell anyway. Um... I mean, the other option would be Reusion Industries, which is also back on um, New Atlantis. So let's do that. So I noticed that the different star systems have a level associated with them. Is it recommended minimum level for going there? Yes. Level 5. Level 1 for Sol. Level 10 for Prakian A. Luton Star is 5. Cirrus is 5. Altair is 15, mm -hmm. which we have a quest at. Bernard Star is 1. Wolf. Which wolf? There's like yeah, hundreds know. of them. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Linnaeus Ooh. is 45. Okay. And that... What path is that? I mean, I know we're in three dimensions and all, but... Just the path to get there. Ah, uh, it's Crimson Fleet territory, apparently. Anyway, um... We're not going to Toleman 2. No, we are going to Alpha Centauri. Although we are apparently the correct level to go to Toleman. It only had recommend level 5. So, Jemison is... Um, whatchamacallit, the... Planet. Where New Atlantis is. Yep. But apparently there's a ship nearby Grissom. Boss, so we can get some really crappy sparkling water. Hola. And Catherine. Zone is trying to take apart some boxes. He's helping. Yes. Alright, let's set a course for... Nope. Alright. No. Um... And we did throw our contraband in our freight ship. Yes, space. we did. No contraband on ship, that's what it says. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're done. You're clear to land in New Atlantis. Oh, well, who else is around? Don't shoot them. I realized that they're level 30. I would die. Where the one I'm trying to have? Anything really interesting? Like said you should uh, get up every 30 minutes so your legs don't fall off or whatever. Who the hell has time for that? <laughs> You're welcome to take a gander. 
have anything I care about? You have resources. Didn't you need an ornamental? I really wish it told me how many I have. Um, what about selling things? Sure. I think I can sell the older Thrace ball. From 1978, Boston. Zone, get down. Zone! One moment. <sighs> the problem with cats. But you never know which one of these you get a quest to procure one for someone. Yeah, but it's not like they're that hard to find. Okay, um... Thinking about just buying all of their resources. Hmm, spice, that could be useful. I don't think I have any of that. Great. Please do not ram their ship. Are you? Ah, long sword again. What are you? Ah, the settler. I'm listening. Just giving this place a survey. You're surveying the capital of the UC. You're settlers, then. What's that like? It certainly got its perils. I would imagine. Oh, the ones who didn't do his research decided to settle down on a patch of land he thought seemed nice and quiet. <laughs> Was real surprise though, come the spring, or as they came to know it, mating season. Extremely loud mating season. Fair enough. Are you anything Actually, interesting? There were some Varun zealots in the area not long back. Hope they're gone for good. Those snake worshippers make my skin crawl. Hey, I grew up worshipping snakes. Do you have anything useful? Got some knickknacks I could part with. I don't think I've even seen those before. We are out of polymers, though. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Okay. You just spent a lot of money. I didn't spend that much. I've spent about a thousand total. So I didn't spend that much. Oh, yeah. I guess I was looking at their money. Yeah. That would make more sense. Alright. I'd like to just touch down somewhere and survey this world, but... Touch down somewhat near the mining outpost, maybe? Hmm? Or the civilian outpost? Yeah, the civilian outpost. Okay. Let's do that. I wonder, can you set up your own outpost on the capital of the UC? Hmm. I don't know. You might need a permit. I imagine. Is that a dragon? I am detecting signs of life in the immediate And they're hostile. Yeah. Apex Parrot Hawk. Hey, there's life signs that way. Mm -hmm. And a structure. And a structure. A plant. And a Vasco. More life signs. That's the civilian outpost. Old Cave Nettle. 
uh, drop out of survey mode for a bit so I can see the temperature. Or no, it's only shown in survey mode. Okay. Twenty one C. It looks colder. Yeah. I, I think that's just the average temperature for that like, for the be. planet because it was saying twenty five degrees inside Sound. the cryo facility. I think he's on top of something. Let me have a look. Okay. I'm just scanning. What are you doing? And it's also only level one, so mm -hmm. we can definitely take it if we need to. If nettles have toxins. Burning Reef Walk Scavenger. And it's dead. Yep. It's also a Beetle Grazer. Which I'm going to guess is about to be dead. Those things look a little weird. Snow Willow. Water. How do they have a block of water? On a planet at 21 degrees. It's obviously colder here. Yes. If it weren't for the fact that I already know it's not Celsius, I'm going to alt tab really fast to make sure that zone didn't bump the camera too much. He did not. That's good. Um, what are you? Oh, that's the Harding Reefwalker Scavenger. Got it. They're defensive. They're still. Needle Grazer. I'm backing off, don't worry. There's a lot of them, although some of them are dead. I'm sick. Yep. They nest in trees, sort of. They are also defensive. But they are definitely trying to prey on the hurting reef walkers. How close can I get to you without going under attack? At least that close. was specifically trying to go towards something. Ooh, they're skittish. So there are other temperaments. I mean, I'd be skittish too if I was that tiny. Yeah. fighting me? No!
Uh, that answers questions whether we can put an outpost on this. Okay, yes, you are. I guess I'm gonna figure out what loot you have. I was trying to avoid fighting. Oh, gravity's a bit low here. Yep. I didn't know this before now. Yeah. I had done... Oh, I need to exit power toys really fast. There we go. So, I use a program um, built by Microsoft, or it's really a collection of programs called Power Toys. Um, and one of the key bindings that I have is for making accent marks and other forms of upper ASCII more easily. Since I don't have a keyboard that's, shall we say, Norwegian compliant, it's a lot easier for me to use a program like that. But it uses similar key commands of what I'm using for this game and a lot of other games too. That's why it wasn't coming up. It was like, wait, why am I not seeing anything highlighting? This place... Without, is this a dump? Yes, yeah, obviously a civilian outpost of some variety. Don't know if hostile. Be nice if there were civilian outposts that weren't hostile. Uh, they're not highlighted in um red, so I think they might actually be friendly. The floral. There's the last of our Boreas route. Let's go in and say hi to people without our weapons. Thank you. Ooh, friendly robot. Please watch your step. It is imperative that you do not disturb the soil. The mineral content of this soil is ideal for producing root vegetables. Okay. I can open the hatch. Let's talk to some of the people outside. Self-service bounty clearance and a mission board. So this is actually an outpost. I'm welcome to our little slice of paradise. It's nice to have a visitor. What the hell accent is that? Space suit? Take as long as you need. A provisioner. You have the place to yourself. If you've got credits, I've got supplies. I do like this job. It's a little slow sometimes, but it beats being a traveling merchant. That's how I made my way before I decided to settle here. I'll tell ya. Going months without doing any substantial business beats the hell out of cruising the space lanes. I don't miss getting shot at by half the ships I tried to hit. That's fair. Well, what's it like living here? It's there? nice. This is my favorite outpost I've lived at. I usually relocate every couple of years, but I'm not sure I want to leave. The people here are great. It's worth saying hi before you move on. Okay. What do you have for sale? Looking for something specific? No. You have a rip shank. You have a whole bunch of food and tea. But no green tea. Hmm. Can she have parts? 
and ship parts and med packs. Bandages. Okay. Yeah, Wait, have did you look at resources? Mind. No. You know, stimulant. Unique organic resource. I have enough polymers now, I think. But neat. Good luck out there. Hmm. I wonder if you can take over outposts. Either hostile or otherwise. That's definitely stealing. Do not tamper with the produce. It does not it. respond positively to being disturbed. Airlock. Not that it's needed for given where we're at. We're improving our hat modules right now. If it all goes well, I'll finally get my own room. <laughs> One day I like the I will keyboard. This place and find a planet of my own. Missing keys, like a semicolon. Um, and his, a comma. His clothing is interesting. Yeah, I like the clothing. I never think about my old life. Unless someone like you comes around. Hmm. Okay. I understand the airlock system in most places, but uh, people live here without... Yeah, but you want to You're keep free to use our equipment. Just leave it in working order, okay? Seems reasonable to me. My mom helped build our outpost. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Not a pizza I oven. I be an explorer too, but then I... No, never mind. It's a long story. <laughs> you took an arrow to the knee? Make yourself at home. Nice to see a friendly face. Or any face. Donks. I came here with my family when I was a kid. I hated it back then. Now it feels like home. Okay. There's nobody in here. What is the thing on the plate? Cube. Chunks of potato. Mm. Punch band cash. Expert locked. <laughs> I mean, I do have the skill. I could actually open it, but that is not stealing. But the beer is. And the cred sticks aren't. Ah, these people have been nice. I'm not going to steal from them. It is weird playing a game like this where there's nice people around. I don't understand. Is that she's a trash pile then? I guess. I mean, it's not like they have anyone collecting their trash uh -huh. here. Uh, that looks to be about it for this place. Maybe I'll look at the mission board? Ah, that's their storage. And yeah, I can have a look at their mission board. Say hello to oh! The kids. There's Some a colony here. Have never seen an outsider. If you are hoping to join us, you're out of luck. We're at full capacity right now. Anything I can do to help out around here? Ah, oh, rats. You just missed your chance. Our shop got a big shipment yesterday. We spent all day hauling crates around. If you're looking for some place to help out, you should try our mission board. Okay. Can you tell me more about your outpost? Sure thing. It's an interesting story. We were founded by a couple of long haulers whose ship crashed here after it was damaged by an asteroid. Nobody saw their distress signal for months, so they had to use what was in the cargo bay to get by. 
Luckily, they were hauling for Filburn Agriculture. By the time someone found them, they had a self-sustaining farm up in Murani, and they decided to make their stay permanent. Interesting. Very interesting. We should check in on the uh, people who emerged since they landed on Nassoi at some point. Yeah. Maybe they will do the same. That would be neat, except I would like to point out that's the distance between New Atlantis and their colony that crash landed that nobody found them for months. Mm hmm I could walk that. Yeah, but maybe they didn't know where they were. Ah, so or, they're directionally challenged. Got it. Or maybe the wildlife? The wildlife mm. isn't all that difficult. No, it's a level one planet. Yes. Self-service bounty clearance. If you have a bounty with anyone's settle systems, don't worry. For a small convenience fee, we can clear that up for you. Our records indicate that you are not wanted by any faction within the settled systems at this time. Please visit again should you need us. And how about the mission board? Destroy Crimson Fleet Haunt at Chala and kill the pirate rover on Zamka. Zamka is in the Alpha Centauri system. Yeah, these are both within the system. So I could. No time limit on them, so I, I guess I might as well take them. Mm. Okay. Anyway. Um... Where to now? You just want to go to New Atlantis and look at the brown ants? Yeah, I think so. Traveling directly to the lodge. I have been told that there are more events for your family to mm. intercept you on, so to speak. But you might need to progress mainline plot. Mm. Or whatever counts as mainline plot in this game. I'm honestly not sure. I think you kind of decide where your allegiance lies. Mm -hmm. Which faction you will support. Obviously I'm supporting my family. Because mm -hmm. my parents are awesome. Workbench, spacesuit workbench, industrial workbench. All the useful workbenches are down here. Okay, is there anything in the research that I can do at this point? I have Argon now. Just one, though. But I got an overflow Argon. Mods. There's the polymers that I needed. Yay, I finished that one. Everything else is blocked. The only thing I can theoretically research requires two tetrafluorides. Ooh, xenohexafluoride. I know that element. Oh no, that'd be XEF4. Not sure what the X is, XF4 is in this case. Uh, xenohexafluoride is the gas that's on Pestulus Horus. The okay. spontaneously explosive gas that makes up its atmosphere. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. Oh. Nope from no. Dad. from dad 
Dear Brainiac, you can stop by home. There's something I would like to talk to you about. Nothing urgent, but I sh would sure like to see you. Well. <laughs> I mean, our parents are asking us to visit. Mm-hmm. I think once we're through in down in the basement, we go back up there. Yeah. It's, our parents are nice people. Can we actually make... No, we can only make things that remove status effects right now, it looks like. That's unfortunate. They can cook all sorts of things, though. Including meatloaf. Yes, I Real want to cook meatloaf. Cheese and work. can do both. Confirm. And confirm. Oh, I need to craft five unique things anyway. I could make a ribbon. I don't like this much. I like it better than a ham and cheese sandwich. I can distill some water using a membrane. Alien tea? Alien liquor. Using your last. But note what it gives you. Carrying capacity. Ooh. And it's the yeah. alien sandwich, bread and nutrients. Yes. There we go. We got the five research methods. Does that mean we can increase our gastronomy? Probably, yes. Constellation mission board. You can look at it, at least. Yeah. Locate life in Tau Ceti. But Tau Ceti flowering already occurred, and there's nothing Ooh, left there. Locate extinction event in Altair. Ah, uh, yeah. That sound All of these sound really interesting, actually. <coughs> Should I just take all of them so we can grab them later? Nah. We are cluttering up our... It's a Bethesda game, of course we are. We did get helmet mods. Yes, we did. Mm, is it like in Fallout 4 where you can remove mods from one thing and put it on another? I don't think so. Uh, let's look at something for an example. Uh, if I had something anything that with mods. Has mods. Yeah. Like your backpack. Yeah. Let's save. Quick save first. Yes. I don't want to ruin my backpack. Okay. The quick saved. Backpack. High school backpack. Cup. And then select no mod. It costs resources. Hmm. But just do it to see how it works and then load anyway. Yeah. One XP. Yep. Okay, now... Try. And now I can't. Well, for one, I don't have the correct research, and for two, I don't have the correct ingredients, so no. No mod actually costs you. Right, but can you now put the extra carrying capacity mod on a different pack? I can't put it on anything. Helps if I choose a pack. Nope. As mentioned, I don't have the resources required, and I don't have the research. So, okay. nope. Oh, exit out on F9. Yeah. Ooh. Shielded cargo capacity protects from scans. Mm -hmm. Good to know that's a thing. Anyway. Um, but what is the difference here? So, increased power output. Useful for navigating high gravity environments. The basic one is just basic. Balanced is with a balanced power output, whatever that means. And skip capacity... 
low duration, high intensity output. Hmm. Okay. I can increase oxygen reserves for a pack. That, that seems... costs resources. Yeah, but it's costing resources I have, at least. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Helmets, I can add shielding. It will increase the mass, but increase defense by three. Yeah, three. And what about the spacesuit? Uh, same thing, except it's increasing it by five. Might as well add in ballistic shielding. I'm getting shot quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Only adds one XP, though. Ah, the second mod category is a different... So the mod slots do do different things. That's good to know. So explosive shielding. Ooh. Space mod... Spacesuit mod 3 is what gives me the ability to reduce stamina costs. That's good to know. Increase melee damage, increases all damage resistance. Mm -hmm. The spacesuit mods three. Yes. I'm aware. I'm just looking to see what the options are. Carrying capacity is spacesuit mods two. Mm -hmm. Oh, and ingredients required. I seen adhesives. I think we might be able to make polytextiles. I mean, you've picked up a couple over over the course of playing. Mm-hmm. Even if you may have spent or sold them. I didn't sell anything like that. Hmm. Sensor right. Increases the range for enemy detection on the compass. Uh, heavy shielding and... Reduces detection from enemies, so you can have stealth helmets. <laughs> okay. That's what I wanted to know. Now let's go upstairs and go talk to our parents. Aren't we checking the brownouts? Or are we... Parents are higher priority, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, he did say it wasn't urgent, but... But, but my parents. Our parents. Yes. Well... <laughs> that would be a little weird. Their parents. <laughs> <laughs> Their parents. Phoenix parents. Um, let's see. I assume it's an activity. No. Not an activity. Not well, an quest, but we know that they're in the residential district. So I'm fast traveling to the residential district instead of taking local transportation. Um, for reference for anybody who is watching this, although it's many weeks later, given the rate that I'm doing things, um, there are online maps of New Atlanta specifically because of how confusing everything is. Real question is, do we remember where... Yeah, I'm just stopping in to sell weapons. Because I know I have spares. I'm do sure I have them on me? Just by walking through that, only the finest... I don't need the med theft. One. I suppose it's only epic. Yeah. I'll hold on to that, though. Mm-hmm. That'll be an interesting swap. Of curiosity, how much did this get? Hardly anything. I might as well just hold on to them. Nothing in ship inventory at the moment, and they must be on person. Um, 
Ooh. Single shot shotgun. Or zero shot? That says round zero. That's how many you have. Probably. Oh, yeah, you're right. And it uses 50 count. An arc wielder. Is that... I'm wondering if that is. That's your mining weapon. I don't know. Listed as a heavy weapon. Mm. Actually, easy way to tell. What's our mining weapon listed as? Catcher. Heavy. Mm hmm? I think it and might be. And doing energy damage. That might be. It might be. I'm just saying a, a cutlass. Okay. Suppressed coach. Ah, yes. When I think of weapons that you can put a suppressor on, I think a shotgun. Old Earth hunting rifle. That's a sniper rifle. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to buy one, but that's a you lot have of money. One round of it. Oh, you're right. I didn't even notice that. One. You well, can I can buy it. ammo here yeah, too. Yeah, you can fire it in one. But I think I'm going to buy this. Yes. Although it says I have rounds. Yeah. So I don't think that is the replacement. Although, the heck is that thing? That's a lot of mods on it. Seven of eight mods installed? It's also a lot of money. Okay, maybe I won't be buying it, but... Wait, um, oh. have a look at the uh, thing again. Which one? The arc welder. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it was heavy. Yes. I have a hunch that's actually just a heavy weapon. Yeah, probably. Since it is using ammo. What, the, what does the catcher say on ammo? Cutter. Mm, Definitely yeah. not. Yeah, I think the cutter is just the cutter, and maybe we'll find upgrades later. There has to be a way to mine the bigger chunks of things. Yeah. Other than just... Maybe we just need to go at it through multiple charges. No, I'm pretty sure there's got to be a way. Now, what tower were our parents looking at? Mm. I don't remember. Yeah, there's... I might recognize it when I see it. Yeah. Look at the quest log for completed quest. Oh yeah, good point. Because it's us there. Yeah. Hmm... No, it doesn't, because it was an activity, was Oh. Well, this is from initial mission. Mm. Nope. Completed. Nope. Activity. That's just the current ones. Nope. I mean, I think I'll recognize it when I see it, but it's not Orion. Is it potentially in a different district? I don't remember now. This is a problem with this game. Yeah, because we forget things. Yeah. Easily. And there is no map. And there's no quest log like, telling us what we've done. New surface map. Yeah, it just doesn't tell us. And also, this map is garbage. Just want to state that. Bethesda, you needed to do better than that. I know it's one of the towers, but I don't know which one. Or 
there's a spaceport. Oh, you have a fish tank, don't you? Yeah. Information. Yes. Other buildings. That doesn't help me. Corporate directory? That doesn't help me. No. None of this helps me. They could have had a map in there. Yes. Yes, they could have. My partner and I talked about transferring to the same division. It'd allow us to spend more time together. Really? How's, How's it going? going? Where do our parents live? I feel like I have to go look at that video. I'm near tower. Yep. I think that's the one. I think this is it. Sure, it started with a P. And I'm pretty sure the family apartments are the correct ones. Yes. You don't know where that is? <laughs> I knew where it was. Top shelf of the pantry. Did I take it? It's not there anymore. No, I moved them to the bottom shelf ages ago. How do you expect me to know where anything is if you keep moving them all the time? You should pay attention. I'm planning a grocery run later. I get some things you like. The house feels alive again now that you're here. Talking with you has made my day. I'm being serious. I've got lifetimes worth of books and videos to occupy me. So don't worry about me. You came. How are you doing? You eating well out there? It's easy just to survive off, well, garbage. I'm being fed by my parents, aren't I? Ooh. Apparently, my dad makes famous nachos. <laughs> well, I do what I can. I don't want nachos. You remember Grandpa's restaurant? Last time you were there, you must have been five, eight. Some of the best food in the galaxy. Service with a grunt and a glare, I always said. But Dad's food kept them coming back. Food was incredible. You can tell, never tell, looking at it from the Poland outside. Walls have the best food. Yep. <laughs> That's just science. Your grandfather taught me what I know of cooking. He didn't want me to go to uni. I was the only one interested in the restaurant. But when he got on in the years, he trusted me with something sacred. Am I getting a recipe? It's meatloaf. Yes. <laughs> Please, please, please tell me you're making meatloaf tonight. <laughs> no, I'm not. Something better. I don't know if anything I taught you about cooking stuck, but I figure it's time to pass the torch. But you gotta promise not to share Grandpa's meatloaf recipe with anyone. I just made crappy meatloaf. It stays meatloaf. in the family. I swear Dad's ghost would come back and strike me dead if you did that. That would be a tasty alternative to freeze-dried chunks. Oh, you actually eat that? <laughs> you really, really need this recipe. <laughs> Any meat will do. If it's dry, extra tomatoes. They'll moisten it up if you do it right. Sorry, a bit of a moment here. So, uh, you want to talk about anything? Definitely not the last one. It's good to have you home. I haven't refilled the tea mm -hmm. that I took. Now I feel bad. Also, they have an induction stove with actual dials. May I note? Mm -hmm. You should add a plant to their apartment every time you visit. Sure. I definitely have a plant in my inventory somewhere, right? I don't. Oh, I have a plant planter. Plant. That'll work.
Perfect. Of all the places we've lived, this is my favorite. I don't know. And now we should take note of where this is located. Yes. Um, is there a way to actually add notes onto the map or something? Surface map. That would be too easy. But it's nearby chunks. Maybe I'll actually remember it from that perspective. Anyway. Apologies for that distraction because my dad wanted something from me. And since the only way I can talk to my actual father is while I'm asleep in my dreams, hmm... Yeah, I think family is a good idea. And I've been thinking about the whole mortgage thing. I think that might actually still be a good deal. The reason being that 125,000 credits isn't that far off of what we have now. Like, we're at 40,000. Mm-hmm. How much you want to bet no other houses in the game are that cheap? Mm hmm Anyway, I wanted to check. Do I actually have the recipe? Yep. Yeah, meatloaf. Oh, it requires more ingredients. But look at how much more it does. Plus 2% XP gain for two minutes. A large amount of damage resistance and restoring 25 health. That only restores 10 health. Grandpa's meatloaf is the best, apparently. Yeah. Mouth-watering meatloaf made using your grandfather's award-winning recipe. Nice. I approve of all of this. Kind of like in Skyrim, where only a few of the things you can cook is actually worth making. Mm -hmm. Muzzle in me! A film by Lincoln Singh based on the novel by Catherine Okoro. Okay. Two dates for Darla 4. Forever human. Here's office that is. I have to investigate the well. I know we have very little time left. Well, this place is a lot um, trashier, shall we say. The sewer is leveled. Utility tunnel sewers. Yeah. Sewers. Bad loading. It is glitching textures. Glitching is annoying. There. That's the view that I wanted to switch to. There is something here. It's a notebook. Door. Why because they didn't make maps? Because they're lazy. Ooh. Something happened here. And, something and somebody's else? here. Nearby. Yeah. 
cutting board. Punk special sauce, then it counts as theft. Utility knife counts as theft. So someone's been at least cooking here, possibly worse. Yep. They've been making chunk special sauce, apparently. Requires key and, and it's, it's trespassing. Yeah. Okay, I guess I have to enter through another way because there was no split off that I saw. Maybe that's a one-way exit? I know we found all their entrances to be Yeah, we did. Our quest target is not even in this direction, so... Um, guessing we're going to go to one of the other ones and then stop it there because yep. we're just at about time. Journal. Investigate brown eyes. And put away your gun, please. I said put away your gun, please. Thank you. I guess I'm just going to run over to wherever that is, and we'll stop there. Ah, it's daytime. That way. Are we going to record an alert? I don't know. <laughs> Today, I mean? Of course yeah. we're going to record an alert, but... Yeah, it's down there. It's just asking me to go to the tram station, I think. That's what this is, isn't it? Oh, it's actually just accessible from the station. Yep. So I think this is where we're going to stop. Hmm? Hope you've enjoyed this internet. Uh, let me go ahead and save, and I'll talk next time. Bye. Bye.